in two previous videos, we went over how to break down a whole turkey into its individual parts so we could separate them and cook them more evenly for better results. Then we took those bones in a second video, roasted them, and turned them into a turkey stock. Now, in this video, we're going to take that stock and turn it into a really delicious gravy. Now, the first step is to strain the fat that we skimmed off during the stock making process to get out any particulate matter and then bring to a simmer over medium-low heat. And we're going to slowly simmer this fat until all the water comes out. And we know all the water is out when the fat stops simmering. Now we're going to take this fat and pass it through a strainer. Now you can use a coffee filter, but it's going to take a long time. So instead, we're just going to line a strainer with a paper towel and pass the fat through. Now that sludge you see at the bottom there, that's what you're trying to avoid. Now we can take this turkey flavored fat and use it to make our roux. So we're gonna weigh the fat out and whatever shortcoming in the amount of fat that we have, we're gonna make that up with whole butter. We're gonna weigh out an equal amount of flour and then I'm going to melt the fat over medium heat in a skillet. Now here I'm using nonstick because it's a little bit more forgiving for this process. And once the fat melts, I'm going to stir in flour, either bread flour or all-purpose flour. And this is going to make a roux. Now the fat is going to coat the starch granules in my flour and keep them from clumping when I add it to my gravy. Now there's different stages of roux that we discuss in a separate roux video. But as you can see here, mine is pretty dark brown because I like that rich, nutty aroma that it gives my turkey stock. For a lighter flavored gravy that has a lighter color, you can just cook your roux for a lesser amount of time. Now my next step is to saute some fresh aromatics at the bottom of a sauce pot. So here I have carrot, celery, onions, crushed garlic. And I'm going to just generate a brown color before I deglaze with some white wine. I'm going to reduce that white wine until it's almost gone and then add in my roasted turkey stock. Bring this roasted turkey stock to a simmer, and while I'm waiting for it to simmer, I'm going to add in my brown roux, which I've now allowed to cool. Now to make sure there's no clumping, I'm going to whisk the roux into the stock as it comes to a simmer. And once the stock starts to boil, I'm gonna move it halfway off the flame, so the left-hand side here is off the flame. And that's going to allow all the scum that rises to the top to collect on the left-hand side, making it easier to skim. And you want to reduce this by half as you continue to skim the gravy. Now, once it's reduced by half, you're going to strain it. And I like to strain it twice, once to get out the larger vegetables and a second time through a bit of a finer strainer just to get out any particulate matter. Now, I'm going to return the strained gravy to the flame, give it a final skim, and then add in some heavy cream. The heavy cream gives a richness and helps to sort of balance out the flavors and also aids in final thickening. One final skim, now I'm gonna taste for seasoning. And I like to finish my gravy right at the end with a little bit of freshly squeezed lemon juice. The acid of the lemon helps to brighten up the gravy and cut through the heaviness. Add salt if you think it needs it, and then just pour into whatever serving vessel you're going to use. Now, because of its dark color, I like to always garnish with some sort of fresh herb. So here I'm just gonna mince up some chives and throw it right on top. That just helps to give it a little bit of a pop. And now you're ready to serve an amazing scratch-made gravy that's going to have a beautiful flavor, completely lump-free, and people are just going to rave about. Now, for more information on gravy making, including ratios and a scalable recipe, check out this episode's show notes at stellaculinary.com sns22.